Webjet is Australia's largest online travel agency, offering flights, hotels, car rentals, and travel packages. It's become the premier travel booking destination for Australians and New Zealanders, and it keeps growing. In 2023, their revenue increased by 164%. Interestingly, it's not their consumer-facing business that's responsible for this growth, but Webbeds, their B2B division driving Webjet's outstanding results. Webbeds is a bed bank, a hotel wholesaler that purchases rooms in bulk at discounted prices and sells them to OTAs and other distributors. Since its launch in 2013, Webbeds has become one of the largest bed banks in the world, managing to grow even during and post-pandemic. Why is the hotel wholesaler business so lucrative? And how did Webjet succeed at it? Webjet was established in 1998 as an online travel agency. But from the ground up, the founders had a very distinct idea of what kind of business they wanted to create, the idea that would differentiate them from existing OTAs and retail travel agents. Mainly, Webjet wanted to do business fully online. We would not be a hybrid. We would not try and be all things to all people. We would focus on doing business that could be transacted essentially without human intervention. They didn't want to put the offline travel agency on the internet, still receiving phone calls and doing the bookings themselves, as many young OTAs used to do. Not only that, Australia had around 4,000 retail travel agencies at that time who were doing just that, and Webjet didn't want to compete with them in the same field. So, by 2001, Webjet became completely automated, allowing customers to fully do bookings online, including via their mobile website launched a year later. In the following years, Webjet became Australia's second most popular travel website, capturing 12% of the market and leaving behind an American OTA behemoth, Expedia. Creating a leading online travel agency wasn't their only ambition, though. In 2013, Webjet cast a glance across the Indian Ocean and saw a unique travel opportunity in Dubai. Lots of Hotels was Webjet's first B2B subsidiary. It launched in Dubai as a significant commercial and travel hub, also covering Kuwait and Turkey. Lots of Hotels was meant to collect content from multiple travel suppliers and offer the most extensive inventory to travel distributors in the Middle East. With lots of hotels, travel businesses in the region accessed hundreds of thousands of hotels worldwide, all aggregated into a single system with a user-friendly interface. The market was niche. At that time, such travel wholesalers as Hotel Beds, Hotels Pro, now known as HPro Travel, and Bonotel had already established themselves as massive businesses in Europe and the US. So for Webjet, responding to the demand in a smaller market made sense. Lots of hotels was a success and proved to Webjet they had room to grow. So the very same year in 2013, they launched Webbeds as an umbrella brand for all their B2B operations across the globe. A year later, Webbeds acquired Sun Hotels, a Spanish bed bank with connections throughout the Mediterranean and Nordic countries. In 2016, they launched a bed bank in Asia named Fit Rooms. In a few years, the first in a line, lots of hotels, expanded into Africa and the Americas. Subsequent acquisitions of London-based bed bank Jack Travel and a leading B2B provider Destinations of the World have really put Webbeds on the map, cementing their place as one of the largest hotel wholesalers in the world. So what role do wholesalers play in the travel ecosystem? It wasn't a new idea nor was it introduced by Webjet. On the air ticket distribution scene, where wholesalers are called consolidators, they have started popping up since the 1978 Airline Deregulation Act, 
The largest of the companies created back then are still successfully operating. They act as a middleman between a supplier, an airline, and a distributor, a travel agency. The wholesalers help airlines not to lose money flying half-full planes on less popular routes. An airline sells hard-to-fill seats to consolidators for huge discounts ranging up to 60%. Consolidators then pass those seats to travel agencies, often seeking niche international markets. And although travel agencies apply their own markup, the price remains lower than the one publicly displayed by an airline. In the hotel business, where wholesalers are called bed banks, the motivation for using them is the same. Owners of hotels, vacation rentals, resorts, and all types of hospitality businesses want to ensure that their rooms are occupied at any time, even for significantly cheaper prices, because alternatively, they generate zero revenue. Knowing that they won't be able to distribute some of their stays at normal prices with their resources, suppliers delegate selling the problematic inventory to bed banks. Bed banks, in turn, have connections with thousands of distributors like travel agencies, travel management companies, tour operators, or even other bed banks, who happily buy those accommodation options in bulk. Many bed banks today also offer activities, tours, car rentals, transfers, and many more services, apart from stays. Bed banks are a common source of travel content for OTAs and travel management companies. Travel distributors need access to huge inventory, and it wouldn't make sense for them to contact each separate hotel and establish connectivity with it. Although they do sometimes establish direct connections, they typically also go to aggregators like GDS's Amadeus, Sabre, and Travelport, and bed banks. This mechanism works well, thanks to the complex connectivity network, mainly powered by technology known as an application programming interface or API. It allows systems to easily exchange information so that OTAs are linked to different inventory sources and can search and check availability on them. And whenever a traveler books a room on an OTA, like Expedia, the information about the reservation travels back to a wholesaler and then to the hotel system. We have a separate video covering APIs, technology the travel industry couldn't function without, so make sure to check it out. For travel agencies, bed banks look like marketplaces, which can either be integrated directly into their system via an API, or consumers can shop online, where tons of hotels, apartments, tours, and other travel services are available. Depending on their location and the types of hotels or activities they want to display, OTAs would choose a particular bed bank that covers those requirements. For example, Bon Hotel has a large selection of exclusive accommodations and luxury concierge services, and Travco offers a substantial collection of properties in Europe. It's also important that a bed bank has tons of direct connections with hotels. See, wholesalers source their inventory from many different places, most of which are third parties. But a direct connection where a bed bank links to a hotel without any middlemen is the most valued since it ensures fast and airless data exchange, great flexibility in terms of pricing, and larger commissions. The higher percentage of direct connections in the whole inventory, the better. For example, Wetbeds has around 93,000 directly contracted hotels. So, now that we know the role of bed banks in travel distribution, let's talk about what the company has been doing in the past few years. Thanks to Webbeds, the Webjet OTA managed to stay afloat during the travel restriction years of 2020 through 2021. How did they navigate the uncertainty of COVID-19 years and manage to grow throughout them? While Webjet, along with all other travel agencies in the world, has suffered significant losses from the pandemic, the company used this opportunity to streamline Webbeds. First, they reorganized their efforts to focus on domestic travel, expecting that it would be the first to open and rightfully so. They found new domestic suppliers and strengthened their relationships with the existing ones. Second, they started unifying all of Webbed's brands under one booking website to simplify their commercial proposition and make it easier for their partners to use their network. 
finally, they performed a full review of the business and pinpointed areas where they could simplify and improve the processes. One of those innovations has been Parity Monitor, a tool for their hotel partners where they could quickly resolve rate discrepancies. Hotels and distributors have an agreement that room rates will remain consistent throughout all channels. But sometimes, so-called rogue rates crop up, meaning that third-party distributors display lower than agreed prices. A new tool allows hotels to report those issues, and the WebBeds team will address them. They also plan to further improve the process by detecting rate issues automatically. Among other changes like opening new offices in Saudi Arabia to prepare for the emerging opportunities and establishing regional leaders, Webjet managed to return to pre-pandemic booking volumes. If we had to summarize the success story of Webjet and Webbeds in a few words, we'd say that they were good at understanding the market. At the start, they saw the opportunity in being fully automated. Then they captured a niche but promising market with their first B2B brand. Their acquisition decisions have also shown an innate understanding of what it takes to grow a portfolio of travel services. And in the pandemic years, they took the time to prepare for the inevitable reemergence of travel. Webjet's most recent project is a consumer-based motorhome rental business called GoSee, which they acquired back in 2016 and rebranded in 2021 after realizing the potential of the car and van rental market. Although it may seem that Webjet is moving in several different, even mismatched directions, we believe that they proved their competence Travel is a difficult and complicated market to grow in. By having two remarkably successful businesses, Webjet has a very firm grasp on how to approach different opportunities in travel. We hope you enjoyed the company's story, and we urge you to watch more videos about interesting travel businesses in our Travel Work series. Let us know what other brands you'd like us to talk about, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.